Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to Collection Neo and Statue Forum. I'm back again for another review for you guys, and as you can probably tell, we got a big old Moon Knight here. Um, this is XM Studios on four scale. Moon Knight comic version, as they always put on their boxes for some reason. Um, ignore the hand on the ass there, I will explain that um, very soon. Um, just a little bit of background on Moon Knight. Hey, why not? Um, Moon Knight is one of the actual um, first few characters that I really fell in love with. Um, I didn't really get into Marvel massively until like 2004-2005 um, thanks to the Ultimate Alliance video game um, and Moon Knight, Deadpool and Ghost Rider were the first ones that I was really drawn to. Um, in 2006 um, they did a, a run by Charlie Houston and David Finch which is also the um, point where I fell in love with David Finch's artwork um, and that was kind of it, it sealed the deal for Moon Knight um, a really interesting and different character not the usual vigilante um, and then obviously as you probably know Moonlight, Moon Knight has these in weird split personalities which they've really focused on in recent times the whole sanity and um, psychosis of Mark Spector has been explored wildly, you know, through the years, especially that with the um, Jeff Lemire um, run, which is fantastic. I'd say if you start at the David Finch and Charlie Houston run and work your way up to present, that's a hell of a lot of good reading. Even the Bendy stuff in the middle, where they pushed him into Avengers, there's some really fun stuff there. There's a fantastic few issues where he believes that Captain America and Wolverine and Spider-Man are with him. Are they? Are they not? Who knows? Um, but there's some really good, fun stuff done with him. Um, and he's just a visually and um, interesting character and, you know, very easily very easily to be drawn to. You know, similar to Batman. He's got the cape, he's got the cowl, he's got the, the gadgets. But it's all, instead of being bat-based, it's moon-based. And let's face it, the moon's cooler than a bat. Um, so, yeah... Um, as for statues, um, the Boeing design statue was one of the first full size. I think it was actually the second full size I picked up after Deadpool um, on release. It was just lucky that um, as I got into the character, Boeing released one um, and I had the silver one. They did a silver and they did a white, and that stayed in my collection until I sold the Boeings. Um, I recently picked up the Diamond Select uh, Marvel Premier one, which is fantastic actually, it's a great little statue. Uh, if you check out my Instagram, at Collection Neo, you can see um, some shots of that. It came out really well, I think I posted a bunch on Statue Forum as well, and the Diamond Select um, um, Forum, so check that out. Um, and then this guy, this was um, obviously shown by XM in concept, and I was like, oh boy, someone's doing a one for Moon Knight and it looks rather fun fantastic um, so when it um, when it was shown I was a little dismayed and to be honest guys I haven't been hot on the statue whatsoever it was also incredibly expensive it was a made to order XM exclusive if I remember correctly um, but um, it didn't do particularly well um, I don't know if that's just the character or the pose or the expense but I was looking at pre-ordering it and it was looking at you know, 11, 1200 quid. And then um, I just couldn't drop it on it. And I didn't love it enough. You know, I love the character, but it just wasn't the perfect representation of Moon Knight. And then I saw videos and photos, and I thought, yeah, I can live without that, that guy. I don't need that. Um, yeah, it's cool. XM have done a brilliant job, as they usually do. Um, a few little things that we will go over, but, um, you know, generally 90%, 95% of it's fantastic. Um, so why is it sitting here in front of me? Um, cheap, I got it pretty cheap. I ended up picking up for 700 from the UK, which I was thrilled with. And I have to say guys, it's one of those statues where in hand, it just tells a completely different story. I've said this a hundred times before on these videos, you know, you get probably 20% from pictures, maybe 50% from a video, but you don't really get a feel for its size and the presence and the textures and the looks and the paints than you do from getting it in hand. You only get 100% from getting it in hand. Now that's not always possible because obviously you don't want to drop ridiculous amounts of money on a um, statue that you're not quite sure about. But you know, general positivity and people who I know are Moon Knight fans 
I like this statue. They acknowledge some of the faults of it, which we all go over, but generally, I am really, really happy with it, and I think it's a lot, lot better than pictures do it justice. It's a, you know, it's a lot better than videos do it justice. And I think once it's perched high on your display, it looks fab. Um, will there be a better Moon Knight statue? Probably. Um, there probably will be. Um, whoever take goes for that, maybe it's Iron Studios, maybe it's Sideshow, I don't know. But for now, I am more than happy to have this guy in my collection. So what we'll do, guys, we'll start at the base. We've got a few switch outs to go over, including that hand on the ass, which I'll um, tell you about. Um, but for now, we'll get in close and we'll start from the base and work his way up. And we're back. Um, so we'll start on this base. Um, we've obviously got Conchu, is the moon god, which um, um, Moon Knight um, prays to and was resurrected by. Um, so obviously we've got a very Egyptian themed base here. A simple pedestal with some... Um, carvings in there which we'll get a little close on in a moment and we've got some hieroglyphs on the front now does anyone know what these hieroglyphs mean i would love them to say conchu um i'm guessing we've got the moon here so maybe it does and there is beard icons and obviously conchu is a beard or some sort of beard creature and then on the side here we've got these fantastically detailed um pieces let's just pull these wings off the of the base and we'll go a bit closer so I'll just pull one of the wings off guys as you can see we've got this beard it's really really well done really really cool you know again these are details that you you can kind of look at in a um, in pictures or in a video or in hand you really get to see you know, all the work that XM put in stuff, and XM do put a lot of work in. Um, let's um, let's move up a little bit to the beard itself. It's got this beard squatting four feet, kind of like a gargoyle, um, but it's obviously very much an Egyptian beard. We'll do a 360, guys, and then um, I'll speak about the wings. And we'll go up to the actual face of the beard. So here's the main part of the base, the beard, which I guess represents Conchu. Um, these wing parts um, are actually separate pieces and they are actually plastic. Um, that's because they become to very, very um, delicate tips. As you can see here you see a bit of flexibility in there they are plastic now one of the issues that people were having was how this sat on the base I'll show you mine now I picked this up off eBay so I don't know if the original person had corrected it but I've seen ones where um, this wasn't sitting flush to here or here it was actually down here or one was up one was down so it's just the old hair dryer technique warm it up it's only plastic and then just put it there, hold it, and um, not a real big issue. As far as I'm concerned, if I've got to take a hairdryer to a statue, that's par for the course. Um, I'd much prefer them to come a little tiny, a bit warped than broken. So great choice on your material. Um, details on the beard, or the contour beard, I should say. Um, fantastic, it's got this brushed bronze fluke. Um, it's 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 enough not to say it's a real actually a real good contrast to Moon Knight who's obviously decked out in silvers and white to the dark base really well textured really really works and let's move up to the man himself so we've got Moon Knight perched almost stepping forward ready to leap off ready to attack now the costume, I was not too sure about, that they've used silver highlights all over it. And I've seen some pictures where the silver looks really, like, completely different. And it might look a bit different on this, um, 
on this video but these silver highlights actually match the, the white really really well the boot and the arm gauntlets are really really well weathered um, you know very much um, army issue you know to give them protection um, there is a tiny bit of sloppiness on the belt when it comes to paints but it's really not as bad as people would have you have you think the actual um, blending of the silver and the white is um, excellent and of course we've got this huge huge cape which is so well textured and so well done it looks like cloth uh, ignore the hand on the ass I will explain that um, and you know we've got all this dark at the edge of the cape where it's been dragging on the floor the cape is PU which is a polyurethane which is a plastic that's a, um, slightly flexible um, it's not too brittle it's hard wearing a lot of um, first figures use it for a lot of capes and things like that because it's light it's not going to break um, really really well sculpted and um, you know perfectly um, maintained in the box and um, when we zoom back out it's just I mean hopefully you saw it at the beginning when I was doing 360s you know the um, just how well it's done it's moving back a little bit you can see all the texture on the hood and there's a big glob a big glob <laughs> a big mass of silver across the top of the cowl which works really really well I will take the head off guys and give you a bit of a close-up now why the hand is on the ass guys is because the actual grappling hook actually let's talk about this um, first as you can see this hand here we've got in um, is the um, moon shurikens which is very cool I do like that a lot so we can switch that hand out now what you're supposed to do is this grappling hook is actually this is what this hand is for so I'm just gonna very gently take that out and we're gonna pass it up above and this hand is actually supposed to go there so you've got the loop of the chain so you've actually got the loop of the chain coming down now I really like the chain and the grappling hook chain reminds me of spawn which is always a good thing but I don't like him holding the hand I like the the moon shurikens so I decided to wrap it around the arm and stick it up his back now I've got it displayed up high you would not see the hand at the back at all um, and I think it's really I've, I've not seen anyone else do that um, and obviously if you wanted you could you know bring these loops down a bit more yeah I think I, I just think moving the chain and looping it and giving it a bit more movement looks better I've seen a lot of people just have it down like this it's just one big loop now is it practical to have it wrapped around his arm certainly not he's gonna get so tangled up is it much fucking cooler 100% and um, let's take the head off while we're here and we'll show the alternative now actually just before we go into this a lot of um, people let's put this back on um, we're having a lot of trouble with the seam here now um, let's go a little bit freehand if I dare um, the seam between the head and the um, and the cape mine isn't too bad again I don't know if people have actually had a go if the person who I bought this off had a go at it and actually tried to make it sit a little bit flush the seam on this side is it's there but because of the folds of the cloth you don't really notice it especially when it's up high you know you're looking at it from this sort of angle you're looking at it from down below you don't really see it but um, XM actually put a video out where they dunked the whole thing in boil hot water or close to boiling water to soften it all up um, and then put it onto the statue holding it into place molding it to the head um, which is a fine solution and I'm sure XM have 
you know know best i personally if i was doing this i'd take a hairdryer to it and i know other collectors have done the same like i say i haven't had to do this um that is not a big enough gap to bother me especially when it's on display i didn't want to fuck around with it again so um but no if if you do get this guys just be aware you may have to do some tomfoolery they're the really the only two issues in my opinion i mean i've seen people commenting about the paints on the guy but i think the paints are more than fine definitely um let's go back let's take the head off good strong magnet cowl of mooney as deadpool calls him um bit of stitching around here i think the eyes could have been a little bit better not terrible um, it's not my favourite colour design I really like the David Finch design the, the David Finch design is definitive in my opinion but I am a real big fan of Mr Knight from the Lemire run um, and also you do now get a switch out head which we'll have a look at and then I will put on which is more of the um, I suppose the garb or the mask of Conshu um, you don't really see him like this in the comic you see him seeing Conchu in his own image and he looks like this but actually underneath I think it's pretty much the same sculpt um, just painted black and then the mask placed on it um, it looks it looks good it's, um, it's definitely um, if I can get it on there we go it's definitely a cool look I've seen a lot of people displaying it like this and I think they just think it looks cooler it's not really the character in my opinion so we will always always display him with the um, normal cowl on <laughs> if it ever magnetizes back into place there we go um so options like i say we can take this chain off and we can take this Grappling hook off. And we do have switch outs. So we've seen the shuriken hand. You get the normal grasping hand. Which actually it's pretty cool. It's actually not terrible whatsoever. And then for the other hand, we get a couple of options. We got this huge um, does that say Moonerang? Um, he's also got the knuckle dusters on this hand. Nicely weathered, nicely painted. That just magnetises in. So you can go for quite a simple look if you want it to, um, a little bit more classic, a little less complicated. Um, I think this actually looks really, really good. Um, I forgot to mention it does come with a print which I think is basically I suppose and he's definitely got the open hand on the print I'm not sure what he's got on the other hand maybe that maybe the grappling hook um, but yeah it's a um, pretty nice print um, I've got big moon night posters so I've got those up so print doesn't bother me too much and um, so we've got the big moon around and then we also have my least favorite piece which is a staff um paint's okay it looks a bit meh a few runes carved onto it or hieroglyphs i just think him holding it just looks a bit well just looks a bit redundant he's just holding it straight i think it would be much better at an angle across his back or if he's had i don't know it's just not a great Moon Knight weapon, I think it's definitely the weakest of all the switch outs. Um, like I say, grappling hook wrapped around is definitely my favourite. And then the um, whoosh, whoosh, Moon Shurikens, um, definitely in my favourite way to display. But of course, you can choose whatever you'd like. And I do think it's nice to have a few display options. I don't think it has to be crazy. I don't think the switch out head was needed, to be honest. Um, the pole could really fuck off um, the grappling hook's cool but I would like to see um, I don't know 
I don't know. I would have liked. I don't know. I would have liked to have seen. Yeah, I suppose what they've given is here. I suppose the classic setup. I think this um, is more indicative of Moon Knight than any others. Those two. But I like the grappling hook for a bit of theatre. But so I will be pointing back to that. But there you go, guys. So you know, um, we haven't even really touched on the pose. The pose does need to be displayed above head height. He he he's no good. As you can see here, he's. We can't really see his face. We're not. We're not really seeing anything. That's probably its eye line. We really, really need to come down to see more of him. Um, also, uplet. He looks fantastic uplet. Um, when I eventually get around to doing a collection video in the next couple of months, um, you will see him displayed up high. And I think you'll agree that he does need to be displayed up top. This staff is so bad. I'm going to, have to take it off. I really do not like the staff, guys. I think it's awful. I, thought, I would have liked to see um, nunchucks. He does use nunchucks quite a bit. Moon chucks. <laughs> um, yeah. But um, I'm really happy with him. Like I say, the pose, it, you've got to have him up high. There's no point having him at eye level or just above head height. He's got to be, you know, a couple of heads above. You know, I'm six foot two. So I've got him on top of a three-story bestie. So that's three cubes up, which is what seventy-two inches. So he's you know he's he's pretty high up, and the view underlit. Very very happy for the price I paid. Uh, XM usual quality, which is always quality. Let's face it, um, ninety-nine percent of the time. Uh, I think very underrated and definitely a piece that needs to be seen. I had a friend came come around tonight and he agreed, you know, it looks a lot better. Even he was impressed and he knows nothing about Moon Knight. Um, he just likes it on an aesthetic level. Um, but yeah, very, very happy. And um, highly recommend you guys, if you get a chance to look at him in person, take a look. And, you know, I really, you know, I really hope we do see more Moon Knight with his TV show coming up on Disney Plus. Hopefully they nail that character. I hope they don't just go straight into the, oh my god, he's crazy. I hope they take the time, I hope they do the origin properly, I hope they do Bushman and um, work the way through. Maybe even some Werewolf by Night uh, would be great in there too. But um, I hope they just don't go into, oh, he doesn't know who he is and Contry's real or not. Oh, has he got powers on? I hope he just doesn't do it. They don't go straight into that. I'd like them to lean into that a bit more in season two. But um, yeah. Right guys, um, I've got another Marvel review that I'm going to do now, so that'll probably follow up, and it's um, the lovely Domino. So um, probably once you see this a week after, you'll see that. So um, thanks for watching guys, and um, yeah, bye.